first of all, good afternoon and welcome. This is truly a long-awaited day, because actually almost two years ago, we were standing on this very bridge that had been washed away March 2010 by that so-called devastating 100-year storm. Back then, our town was fortunate to have with us Senator Reeves, White House, and Congressman Langevin. They were on this very bridge, and they were able to drive home to Washington, D.C., the importance of this bridge project. They had Secretary of, of HUD, Sean Donovan, come here. And the Secretary said, we're going to get this bridge done stronger, better, and quicker. He just didn't understand the definition of quicker. <laughs> but we got it done. I have to tell you that if it wasn't for our Congress, the Congressional delegation, uh, they really kind of really put the, 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 the squeeze, if you will, on Washington. And, and I can tell you, when they say that there's a lot of bureaucracy in Washington, that is no lie. Because we're not, we probably would have still been waiting to get our money, if you will, if it hadn't been for Senators Reed, White House, and Congressman Langevin. The Mill Street Bridge is built better, stronger. And today, of course, I want to thank who's here is Chris Albert from Senator Reed's office and Tony Simon, uh, who is also from uh, Senator White House's office. And Tony's a Johnston guy, would remind me fix the bridge, fix the bridge, fix the bridge. So Tony is fixed, and, and you can drive over Johnston and Johnston and Johnston. Uh, as I said before, but and by the way, currently as we speak, Senators Reed, White House, and Congressman Lansing were scheduled to be here today, but they have a very important vote today to obviously keep our economy going, so it, 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 I'm glad that they're there. I wish they were here, but I'm glad they're there taking care of business. They're voting on very crucial legislation. I also want to personally thank the residents and the businesses for their patience. I've never seen people with so much patience, but the citizens in this community are the best. They were very, very patient. The business men and women of the community were very, very patient. Um, I didn't want to pick up one dollar for this bridge, and that's why we waited so long. My concern was that if we did pay to get the bridge repaired, taking money out of the town coffers, which would have been very difficult, I think we probably would not have been reimbursed. So I had a concern. They would have said, oh, they're all set, they paid for it. So we had to stay on the federal government and really kind of ride them. Now, about eight, ten months ago, I was contacted by the congressional delegation. They said, how's it going with the bridge? And I said, it's not. And they said, we need to have a meeting. So we had a meeting at the senior center, and I will tell you that our congressional delegation was not happy. And they were kind of like E.F. Hutton. When they speak, everybody listened. And then the money started to flow in, and the paperwork started to come in. So we're very happy. Now, as I said before, I can, we thank a lot of people. The residents, very important. But I also want to thank Mr. Delfino uh, and his dad. His dad's not here, right? His dad. Uh, when I met Mr. Mr. Delfino Sr. a few months back, he was the, uh, the, the, the lowest bidder for the, for the job. And of course, like every other mayor, manager, and town administrator, we're concerned about cost overruns. And I, we never dealt with this company before. And I have to tell you, I'm so glad that they, they got the bid. They did a fantastic job. They built it on time, on budget. And, and considering some of the weather, because some of the cement, you have to be careful when it's cold. Uh, I look under the bridge here, not that I'm a bridge inspector by no means, but it looks kind of strong to me. And it looks like it's going to be around for the next hundred years or so. But I have to tell you, it is very um, rewarding to the taxpayers to see a company like Mr. Delfino's do the work, uh, you know, without saying, well, it's going to cost you X amount of money for this and more money for that. Because sometimes some companies who bid for jobs and they get them to cities and towns, they think that the cities and towns are cash cows, and then all of a sudden they have cost overrun, cost overrun. Not the case with your company. And we look forward, if we have any other projects, that you're bidding on the project, you and your dad. And, 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 and tell your dad, thank you very much. So as I said, from the design, uh, I also have to thank our people in the town here, Ani Becchione, our DPW director. I have to thank our town engineer, Laurie Caruso, and Pam Sherrill, our town planner. They also worked very hard to get this done. And as I said, I just can't believe that we're here today. And it's done. And, it, and it's ready to roll. Uh, they, what, we talked about it. We met with the residents on several occasions, and they had a lot of legitimate concerns, especially some of the businessmen and women. And the concerns was public safety. But we did, we were very uh, um, uh, cognizant of public safety. Uh, the firemen and our, our fantastic police department, they always had backup plans. Uh, and uh, thank God nothing ever happened. Uh, so uh, when I would go to say my prayers on Saturday nights at St. Phillips, they worked. So we were all set. It worked out well for us. It just was an inconvenience for the residents because they had to have 
extra traffic traveling on their roads because of the detour. And, of course, we're concerned about the businesses. This is a very difficult economic time for businesses. But I think that we have a couple of business owners here today. Uh, they, 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 uh, they, uh, they kind of uh, labor through it. We appreciate that. We appreciate it. And also, there's one more gentleman I want to mention worked on a bridge. He's a Johnson guy, so he had to do a good job because we know where he lives. And that's Mr. Pignatore. He did a fantastic job. He worked along with, with Mr. Delfino as one of the, the contractors. So with that said, uh, the people with the scissors, let's get ready. We'll count to three. And I'm going to have a uh, 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 patrol officer and traffic uh, extraordinaire, uh, Mr. Slinko, will be the first vehicle to drive over the bridge. All right? <laughs> ready? One. Two, three, let's cut. All right, look at that. Yeah, hey. <laughs> you keep that because you don't do your business then. You don't <laughs> Thank you very much. Tell your boss, thank you. Tell your boss.